paisanos, it's the Super Mario Brothers. Hey guys, Jake here. And in today's video, we'll be talking about an issue that I've seen from the Nintendo fanbase community uh, throughout the last couple weeks, maybe even months, uh, regarding Nintendo Directs, official news, official news about Directs, and everything of the sort. Throughout the last few weeks specifically though, I've been hesitant of making this video because Nintendo has a habit of making big official announcements when I generally have videos planned. So I'm gonna be testing my luck out with this one, but anyways, let's, let's, let's get in. Uh, before we kind of do though, I do want to say that if Nintendo does decide to do some sort of a, a, a Nintendo Direct on the same day as the release of this video, I'm not going to postpone the release of this video, obviously, because you're watching it. Um, but this video will just kind of coincide with, with you know, anything else I decide to do for that day, like an impressions video for the Nintendo Direct or whatever. Uh, but this video is separate uh, to the contents of any sort of other news uh, big announcements or Nintendo Directs that's going on. Uh, this is more so just talking about Nintendo Directs as a whole and the impressions of them uh, and the effect that they have on the community, for example, rather than what exactly happened on the January uh, Direct or the February Direct. That's 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 for another video, uh, as you know, the titles will kind of uh, point you to. But uh, anyway, yeah, let's let's just jump in. So what exactly has been going on? Has, has there been a big, huge issue? Am I just kind of making this video out of the blue or, or what, what's, what's up, Jake? So uh, first of all, the, the, the main reason I'm making this video is that uh, is because there is supposed to be a Nintendo Direct sometime throughout January. Um, from the, the last couple of years, Nintendo has been doing January Directs. Uh, it's been heavily rumored that there's going to be a January Direct. Um, that, that doesn't mean that there will be, it's just that it's expected of them, kind of. Well, for those of you who don't know, Nintendo uh, kind of likes to do their own thing. Uh, they, they do these little pre-recorded press conferences every now and then called Nintendo Directs, as I've been talking about for the past few minutes. Um, it's during these Directs where Nintendo generally will make big game announcements, or at least announcements of games with some sort of hype built around them. Um, an example being in March 2018, at the very end of the Direct, actually, uh, we got the announcement of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate coming to the Nintendo Switch um, later that year, I believe. There was like a 2018 thing at, 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 at the end. But anyway, um, Ultimate was then later showcased at E3 2018, which is not a Nintendo event, um, and then later appeared in August, September, and November during Nintendo Directs before its December 2018 release date. This is just one of the numerous examples of Nintendo showing off uh, on their own turf. Now, they do make big announcements and such during other press conferences too, like Metroid, uh, I believe it was Metroid Prime 4 at E3 2017, uh, but generally speaking, they save them for their own press conferences. Now, just like any fan base, Nintendo's is not immune to the rumor mill effect. Basically what happens, and this should come across as super obvious, when a company, franchise, or whatever has a big enough of a following, uh, the fans tend to speculate and talk amongst themselves about their opinions on that company, franchise, or whatever. Very few times, fans or just people on the outside of the community get a hold of leaked information from said organization, and then they spread it to that community, then everyone talks about it, and yeah. Lots of the time, however, <laughs> uh, Fans tend to make fake leaks about said organization, spread it to the community, then everyone talks about it, believes that it may or may not be real, and yeah, you kind of see where I'm going with this. Nintendo's fan base is definitely subject to this, as are many, but it's extremely apparent with Nintendo given that they have such a wide variety of games with different playstyles, mechanics, and then such as fans. For example, I mean, Nintendo's the kind of company that can appeal to uh, more casual gamers with Animal Crossing games, and then more competitive ones with, I guess, Splatoon or Smash. Whenever a Nintendo Direct is rumored or supposedly leaked, however, n the Nintendo fanbase generally does one of two things. One, takes it as gospel from our lord and savior Reggie himself, or two, believes it's fake by every account and will crucify anyone who thinks it's real in the name of our lord and savior Reggie himself. The main issue that is apparent here between these two is that they're extreme ultimatums. And possibly just a tad exaggerated here. A super good example of Nintendo leak backlash is the Grinch leak. That leak struck huge controversy within the Smash community specifically, and it was a mess. There were reasons to believe it was real, and reasons to believe that it was fake. 
So many people were talking about it, it was literally a wildfire. I don't know about you guys, but I don't think I've seen something nearly as huge or as in quotes bad as this in a long, long time. Keep in mind that the issue wasn't the Grinch leak itself because we do get fake, you know, picture leaks every now and then. I mean, and again, it did turn out to be fake. The real issue was how the community handled its reveal during the Grinch leaks uh, lifespan and how the community handled itself as well. There was no middle ground. It was one ultimatum or the other, and you couldn't have an opinion but one of the two. It's like back in the Twilight days, guys. People were either Team Jacob or Team Edward. No one was Team Jasper, gosh darn it. Anyways, this is kind of what I mean to say. It's okay to have a neutral opinion on leaks and rumors. It's okay to discuss the probability of possible fake information, just as it is to voice an opinion over real, actual information, especially with directs. It doesn't matter if people think a Nintendo Direct is coming the first, second, or even third week of February. They come when they come. Nintendo likes to beat to their own drum, we know this, and generally they like to change out their drums every other year or so. There's no need to make some sort of ultimatum about when or how a Direct can happen at, it, at any given point in time. After all, we're all here because we're just Nintendo fans. Even when, or if, we get official news from Nintendo, people will still go around spreading false information about the next big major announcement. It's just how things roll. Take everything as a grain of salt and discuss it on some sort of an even playing field. Like, I don't know, this is definitely real. And this is not definitely real. And no, that's different than this is definitely not real. Lastly, everyone can learn from this. If you know somebody who falls victim to leaks a lot or something, then and you share this video with them, there's still a piece of it for you to learn too, not just your friend. It's fun and games until somebody gets triggered. That being said, guys, happy speculating. Put the pitchfork down, and I'll see you in the next video. This is Jake, logging out. Peace.